And I can tell you as a chiropractor over the years, and it's very, very disturbing, more and more people are reaching for what are called NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like Advil, like naproxen. Yep. More and more people are reaching for these things. And that also can be a trigger for breaking down the gut barrier. The sad irony is you're taking this for the musculoskeletal pain, but at the end of the day, you're perpetuating it. So maybe we at some point should now talk about, well, how exactly are these things that are getting into the system generating pain? Yes, I think that's really interesting. And, you know, the NSAIDs, you know, I've... I was a primary care nurse practitioner for many years, and I think people feel like they're safe because they're over the counter, mm. and they just can maybe overuse them, yeah. and then it doesn't just disrupt the gut; it can cause ulcer, and it can um, affect your kidneys too. Doctor Amy, just like anything else, and we talked about it earlier, you want to have some delicious bread every now and then. <laughs> go right ahead. You want to have right. a, a a glass of wine. Yep. Fine. Every so often, two, three days of Advil is perfectly fine. And it's a wonderful pain reliever. It is. It yeah. works. Yeah. I take it for a headache once yeah. every two months. Right. Well, now more recently, I, I take them more frequently now because the Giants are playing. But, oh, no. But um, anyway. But again, in moderation, every so often. Right. But I, I've had patients where, you know, like you do, I ask mm -hmm. them, you know, what do you take? Oh, I'm not on any prescription pain medication. Good. Well, what do you do? Well, I take Advil three times a day. Right. For how long? 15 years? What? So it's, it's, it's a problem. It's a problem. Yeah. So education is important, like what we're doing. Absolutely. Um, both here and in our practices. Yep. 